Mike Murdoch here. Monday night, May 8th. When you're inspired, there's nothing you can't do. Nothing. When you're inspired, you find a way. I sit listening to Jimmy Swagger in Los Angeles, California. He asked everybody that night to give his ministry $500. I didn't have 500 bucks. I only had one record album. I had 500 copies in my garage, in my garage in Houston, Texas. And I sat there and thought, oh, I wish I could give $500. Oh, I wish I could give $500. Well, I could give him my, my, my albums. If he sold them for a dollar each through his magazine, uh, he'd have $500. I walked up and I said, Jimmy, I said, I don't have $500. I don't even have a savings account. But I do have 500 record albums. And if I ship them to Baton Rouge, where you live, if you sold them for a dollar each, you'd have $500. Is that okay? He said, bless you, brother Mike. Bless you, son. Bless you, Mike. He's 12 years older than me. He puts the picture in his magazine of my album and it sold all over the world and people wrote me for crusades I'd never heard of in my life they saw my album it was a seed I didn't have any money I didn't have any money I had 500 record albums that's all inspiration. It was a Sunday night many years ago in a little First Assembly of God church next to Southwestern Assembly of God Bible College. People are crying around the altars and I wrote a song. I cried, people cried many years ago. And a few months ago a famous rock and roll star asked me would you let me, would you let me put your song in one of my movies I'm coming out with? I'll pay you. And he did. He did. He paid me. I thought of the other day because of Mick Jagger putting my song in his movies. I thought of the flying at your flow. Isn't that crazy? God inspired me to write a song. Your inspiration will create the flow of your finances all your whole life. Money is in your inspiration. You don't see Muhammad Ali. I remember talking to him a while in a hotel before he died. Your inspiration is the magical key. By the way, there's three people watching me right now. But when I said the $500 seed, something leaped inside you, and the Holy Spirit spoke to you to plant a $500 seed. I don't know whose ministry it is. It may be mine. That'd be good, but not necessarily. There's three people that felt a stirring to sow a $500 seed when I said that a few moments ago. Five loaves and two fishes. It's going to blow your mind what God does with your 500. I don't know where God's going to tell you to sow it. It's not my little hint. I don't hint. I say things directly. But there's three people. In fact, I'm going to sow another $500 seed. I'm going to sow another $500 seed in the next 24 hours to make up in, in memory, in memory of that $500 seed. Because my music went everywhere. And people opened up. People wrote me. He put it in his magazine. One more. My jet pilots, I had two of them. And they uh, laid out the map as we started to fly down to Florida for a meeting. I said, oh, no. Oh, no. We're flying right over Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, no. 
Oh, I wish I'd have known that. One of my young ladies, about 20, 21 years old, traveling with me on our team, our staff, she said, uh, uh, Brother Mike, we could, we could, we could make that happen. I said, Oh no, no, I'd have to go uh, find a hotel. I would have to call all the um, phone trees. I'd have to make phone trees. I don't even know. She said, We could do it, and she smiled. She was so excited. She said, We, we could do it. We could make it happen. Oh, okay, let's try. We called a hotel. I walked in the hotel that night at seven fifteen in Charlotte, North Carolina. About 125 people were there, my partners, and they were shouting. Many of them said, we've never seen you except on TV. This is the first time to ever see you in person. I was elated. I talked for two or three hours. And when I got through, the Lord said, tell them about the miracle of your $1,000 seed that broke the back of poverty in your life. And that night, there was $10,000 in the offering and $110,000 in faith promises for the next year. That young girl inspired me to go ahead and try to meet with the partners. Pastor David, can you believe that? She motivated me. She said, we can make it happen. We can do this. And I'm flying in the jet towards Charlotte, North Carolina, thinking this is crazy. I should have checked out the maps. But I leased a room within two hours and called everybody. And the support for my ministry on TV was $110,000. Inspiration. Blow your mind. If you're inspired, there's nothing you can't do. I want you to invest $100 for 50 500-page Bibles. $2 each, almost 500 You say, Mike, I can't believe. Oh, my, my shipping don't cost me more than that. There's no money here. There's no profit here. I want you to bless somebody. Two copies for five dollars. Two copies for five dollars. But I wanna I wanna pray for five people. That's I won't have will be able to do more than that, I don't think. I want to pray for five people who will buy buy not an offering, buy fifty copies of the mother's topical Bible for a hundred dollars. I don't know who you are. That's between you and the Lord. But if you decide to sow these Bibles to 50 women of greatness, 50 women who have been a blessing to your life, I think you're going to be stunned less than 120 days what will come back to your life. This is a seed. I wouldn't talk about the $2 prize. That makes you look like a cheapskate. Father, I really believe this. Somebody's about to start a whole miracle in their world. Amen. Here's how. Call 817-759-BOOK. It's book 36. It's book 36. Phone numbers 24 hours a day. Bye-bye. Good night. Love y'all. I got to go home. I'm here at the office.